What's up everybody, this is Andrew with Programming Liftoff and today we are going to learn how to create a basic web page using CSS, JavaScript, and of course HTML. So by the end of this tutorial we'll have a web page that looks like this with some static text at the top, a date, today's date generated by JavaScript, and then we'll have some pictures that are styled with CSS. And in this video, we're just going to create the web page locally. In part two of this tutorial, we're going to learn how to upload this web page to GitHub Pages and get a public URL so we can share it with the world. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So first, I'm going to uh, go ahead and open up your favorite text editor. I'm going to delete the files that I have for the web page so I can start from scratch. Um, so I'm going to, using Visual Studio Code for this tutorial. You can use whatever editor. Atom is another popular editor. Um, so you'll have no trouble following along if you use that editor or really any editor that you like. So we're going to create a new file or a new folder. My folder is basic CSS JS website. And we'll go ahead and create a new file and name it index.html and then inside that uh, index.html file we'll create the basic html web page structure so we'll say doc type html and then we'll add the html tag add a head tag and add a title of my web page and then we'll add a body tag and in there we'll add an h1 and say hello world and then we'll add an h4 tag and give it the ID of date and then we'll leave it empty for now so if we go ahead and right click on our file and hit copy path um, if your editor doesn't allow you to copy the path for some reason you can go ahead and open up uh, Finder or Windows Explorer and if you double click on the index.html file there it should open up in your default browser but we're gonna go ahead and copy the path and paste it into Chrome and there we go we see our the start of our web page so we have some static text hello world up here and you can see that we don't see the date yet so let's uh, go ahead and implement that right now so we have a tag to display the date but we need some JavaScript uh, to figure out what today's date is so we're gonna create a new folder called JavaScript and then we'll create a new file called index.js in that folder and then in here we'll add one uh, one line of JavaScript document dot get element by id date dot inner html and set that equal to a new date object and we'll convert that to uh, we'll use to date string which makes it easier to read so now if we refresh our web page we can see that we still don't see the date here and that is because our web page doesn't know anything about that javascript file that we just created so to tell the web page to load that JavaScript file, we're going to come into the head section of our web page and add a script tag. And inside the script, we'll add the async attribute. So this tells it to not wait to load the entire JavaScript file before loading the rest of the web page. That way, if the JavaScript takes a long time um, to, to load it, doesn't slow down the web page so we'll add that tag and then we'll add a source tag and specify a relative path for our JavaScript file so you can see we put it in the JavaScript folder in the index.js file so that's what our source path is so now if we save that file and we go back and refresh the web page we can see today's date 
All right, that's pretty neat. That's how to add JavaScript from an external file and display, um, run it and display the date on the web page. So now we're going to go ahead and add some CSS to our web page. So to do that, we're going to come over and add a new folder. Call it styles, and inside that we'll uh, add a styles.css file. And then we're going to style the body, set text align to center, and set the background color equal to a hexadecimal value. It seems pretty uh, cryptic, but that's going to be our color. Uh, Visual Studio will bring up a nice color picker and kind of and show you what color that is. That's a, um, that's a tannish color. All right, so let's go ahead and refresh the web page. And you can see, again, we don't see those uh, CSS styles in our web page. So we also have to tell the index.html file that we have some styles that we want to use to style our web page. So to do that, we'll come in here and add a link tag, and then we'll add the rel attribute and set it equal to style sheet. And then for our href, that's the path to our um, our CSS file. So we'll say styles slash styles dot CSS. Then if we save that and refresh the web page we can see that we have our styles on the web page so we center the text and add that tan background color to the web page alright so that's the uh, main part of this tutorial is figuring out how to add JavaScript and CSS to our web page so that's pretty neat so now let's go ahead and kinda of polish it up a little bit add some pictures and make it look a little a little more interesting so to do that, we're going to come into our index.html file, and below the header tags, we are going to add some more HTML. So we're going to add a div, set the class equal to image section. Then inside that div, we'll add another div. Set the class equal to section style. Then inside that we'll add an image tag. We'll set the source equal to http colon forward slash forward slash source dot unsplash dot com slash random slash 400 by 200 is the size of the image that we want and for our alt tag we'll say a random image from unsplash.com alright and right below that we'll add a p tag and paste in that same alt text and once we have that done we'll copy this inner div and paste it right below fix the indentation and then we'll go ahead and copy the whole thing both the divs all three of the divs and come down and paste it right below and again I like to make sure that the indentation is, uh, is looking good HTML will not care about your indentation but it's good to do for code style. Alright, so now let's take a look at what we've got. Alright, so this is our web page right now. We've got the four images that we just added as, as well as the text to describe each image. Uh, but we want to make it look a little nicer, so let's go ahead and implement these styles that we added to our elements. So if we go to the styles.css file, we're going to go ahead and start by adding a style for the div tag. And we'll give it a margin top. 
of 15 pixels. So if we refresh the page, we can see that we've got some a little bit more spacing at the top of our div sections. So now if we go ahead and add the image section class, we can set the display to flex and justify content to center. So if we take a look at what that does, we can see that both of our rows, um, both of our image sections take up one row each and the images are kind of scrunched together so we'll go ahead and add some styles to the images themselves to make them look a little nicer but you can see we got a pretty nice uh, that's a pretty cool looking image that we just got uh -huh. definitely like that one <laughs> but we're gonna refresh the page in a minute and it'll be gone and replaced with a new image so let's go ahead and add that last style margin right 25 pixels margin left of 25 pixels and the background color of white alright so now if we refresh the page we're going to lose that neat picture but we get another cool picture and you can see that we have some neat styles for the pictures now you can see that the background color is white the background is covered by the photo at the top but you can see the background um, for the paragraph element and then the margins uh, add some spacing in between the pictures for each row alright so that'll do it for this uh, tutorial uh, what we did was we created a basic web page which loads CSS and JavaScript from an external file and uh, uses those um, in the web page and this web page is a local web page so um, it's not public on the internet so in the next part of this tutorial we're going to learn how to create a how to upload this web page to github pages and get a public URL so that we can share this share this web page with the world alright so be sure to head on over to programmingliftoff.com. We have a blog post that covers the contents of this tutorial as well as many of our other tutorials. So go, go ahead and head over to programmingliftoff.com and check out our other tutorials. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.